just beautiful through here. Absolutely beautiful. So here we are, right at the end, and uh, just to my suspicion, it ends right here, and uh, there's a, another deep gorge right there, another canyon, so kind of gives you an idea of the uh, landscape that I'm in, kind of comes to the end of a, a ridge, and you know, it's, it's uh, canyoned out on both sides of me, so that's a... Uh, that's all right. It's beautiful out here. Check out the freaking view over here. Holy moly. <laughs> wow, man, that is so cool. <laughs> yeah. But what do you know? This road still keeps going. Uh, off this direction. Incredible. Uh, you ever get that feeling like you just drove in one big circle? I think I'm slowly doing that. <laughs> I don't know where this is going. Because I'm pretty sure I just came from uh, that direction right over there. Interesting nonetheless. But uh, yeah, that's a steep little uh, incline right here. I'm going to get on it. Actually, that wasn't too bad. Hey, what's up, guys? I uh, finally made it to a camp spot. I went off this direction, and I didn't find anything. That's where I was going to go uh, set up to try to get out of the wind near uh, some of those rocky sides. But uh, as I got closer to that area, it just got too rocky in there. So I came back this direction, and I found a cool spot kind of uh, where that spiral loop uh, came around. So... I'm over here just behind me, less than 250 feet. It's all cliffed out over there. And I know the gorge is below, which is uh, the main uh, forest road, 376. And so below is uh, also the uh, Rio Guadalupe and uh, the Rio de los Bacas drops into there. And so, yeah, that's, that's kind of down below uh, for where I'm at right now. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna have a great sunset no matter what. Either if I'm over there where uh, that waterfall spot is or right here, it's not a bad spot anywhere, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get camp set up and just enjoy this evening, guys.
giant sleeping bag. Heck yeah, guys. This is uh, my backpacking uh, backpack. It's actually my old one. I bought a new one, but uh, it works to take this gear with me. So, thumbs up. Heck yeah. Definitely a little windier over here. But impressive. So down that way is where that uh, waterfall is and uh, you can see where it's all cliffed out over there and it just keeps on going that way. That's gorgeous. Time to make some dinner guys. It's about 5.30 in the evening and so I'm just going to knock it out so that way uh, I could have the uh, rest of the evening to enjoy so heck yeah going to add a little uh, extra virgin olive oil to fry up those uh, potatoes. Going to have a ribeye steak as well. Heck yeah. Using it up. Got some pepper, salt, garlic. Oh yeah, give that a generous, generous layer of seasoning there. A little more for those potatoes. Oh yeah, good stuff. Who doesn't like uh, some jalapeno steak and potatoes, man? Good stuff right there.
Heck yeah, guys. Tater's just about ready and uh, decided to, why not? Santa Fe Brewing Company. And uh, this one here is the Pepe Loco Mexican style lager. <laughs> now, if you've watched my videos before, you know that there's a story to these. And so this one reads I am Pepe Loco. El Campeón, defender of good taste, weaver of tight pants. I dare other Mexican loggers to combat my smooth, balanced style. They fail, but I am not unbeatable. Even though I was built to crush other beers, you were built to crush me. Pick me up, slam me, and do a victory dance. It's time to get loco. <laughs> <Woo! laughs> Cheers guys. Oh man, that steak is smelling great. I can't tell you how good the aroma smells in the forest. Holy cow. If there's anything, coyotes, bears, or you know, cougars within the half a mile and this breeze is going their directions. I could guarantee you they're going to come up here. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Heck yeah. Oh, man. Such a gorgeous afternoon. Heck yeah. Ow! Little Rudy's barbecue sauce. That's a awesome, awesome steak sauce. It's actually a barbecue sauce, but it's good on steak. My wife makes some damn good tortillas, guys. Oh yeah. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All right, guys, just got done eating dinner about a half hour ago. I'm going to take a drive over to the ledge over there where that waterfall is. I'm going to try to hike out a little bit, see if I can get a cool view looking north up the canyon. I don't anticipate it being too hard of a hike. Uh, I think it's only going to take about 15 minutes um, one way, if that, depending if I don't have to bushwhack. And we still got about uh, two hours of light. So let's head over there and, and check it out before the sun goes down.
right guys so I'm hiking on this shelf over here and uh, right down through there is where I just came from and right up over there somewhere is probably right in there is where I'm actually camped and so in between this shelf and the other one is the big canyon right here so yeah these are pretty cool mesas up here and look at the view out there wow incredible so I don't know how I'm necessarily gonna do it but I gotta try to scramble up through these rocks right here and the high point that I was trying to get to is like right up there so let's try to get up there before um, it gets any later <laughs> heck yeah guys wow it's beautiful up here heck yeah sun's about to go down and uh, geez I couldn't ask for a better evening guys gonna have a beautiful sunset geez incredible Headed back down to the four-wheeler. Let's head back to camp. Sweet. Yeah, I pretty much made it right to about right there. And then uh, I followed the fence line going north. And yeah, I didn't... Uh, figure out of any way to get through easy is all barbed wire fence and yeah I didn't feel like messing with that right now <laughs> alright guys let's head on back guys enjoyed that view as much as I did you know one thing with cameras is it's really hard to pick up exactly what I'm seeing but uh, my goodness if you guys could have been there I think your draws would have been dropped because it was absolutely amazing I couldn't have asked for a better uh, evening to come in. It was, wow. <laughs> I'm just still in awe. Awesome. Made it back to camp up here on the uh, higher side and man we're still treated to a beautiful sunset out there. Alrighty, I see a little camp light on out there.
Of course, I had it on the opposite side, so <laughs> the light wasn't facing towards me. There it is. There's camp. Actually, it's really not that far. Just a couple hundred feet. Sweet. Let's go get this uh, other camp light going. It's a solar powered light that's off uh, 400 lumens. Picked it up on Amazon. It's called the Fly Whom, and that's pretty cool. I've had it for a while. It's also uh, weatherproof, so <laughs> if it starts to rain, that'll still stay lit. So awesome. But this one here is connected to a battery pack, so it definitely is not going to stay uh, good in the rain, but uh, that's okay. No rain tonight. <laughs> Just giving you the details of uh, my equipment, that's all. Heck yeah, beautiful. All right guys, so it's about 9.30, 9.45 in the evening, and I'm a little on edge. There's big game animals all the way around me, and I'm not sure if it's uh, bear grunting or not. See if one grunts. Let's see if I could get it to shot call. Hey! Yes, I do carry a gun, so. Yeah, I don't hear it no more. I don't know if it starts calling again, I'll turn the camera back on. Alright guys, it's about 10 o'clock at night and uh, due to about four or five bears hanging around camp, I decided to go ahead and uh, pack up my belongings and take the uh, interesting night ride out of the backwoods of the Hamas. I got a little ways to get back to my truck. So I'm just going to go ahead and play it safe. There is fire restrictions. I don't have a fire. So all I'm using is a natural ambient light from a, a solar light and a battery pack light. And uh, I'd probably feel a little safer if I was able to have a campfire. But uh, yeah, being by myself this far back, it's probably a better call to uh, go ahead and head out. They, uh, yeah, they're just kind of circling around and 
and grunting. So definitely ain't going to sleep. Might as well head home. <laughs> so, all right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Hey, guys. It's 11 o'clock at night, and uh, I just got the ATV loaded up. Now I got to go back down this uh, old Jeep logging trail. I'm a little ways from the vehicle, but, uh, yeah, I decided to leave after... Uh, a family of bears came in and I probably have to say the closest one was at least 150 yards and uh, they were grunting all around me. I haven't heard anything for just uh, a little bit but uh, still my my uh, anxiety and nerves are on edge. Here we don't have uh, any uh, ability to burn fire. We're under fire restrictions so it's just using pretty much uh, uh, this battery pack light, a solar light, and a headlamp, and I'd feel a ton safer if I had more uh, natural ambient light. So I'm going to go ahead and bag this adventure and uh, head out of here, guys. So still more adventure to come. I just got to head out of this uh, long logging road. So <laughs> that's going to be a little creepy itself. <laughs> uh, the adventure continues, guys. All right. Talk to you later. Alright guys, I just left camp, and uh, yeah, gotta head back out on this uh, long, creepy, deserted uh, logging road slash jeep trail. Cannot wait. <laughs> Tell him at the truck and load it up, man. This is the second time in my life that uh, I've had an experience with bears. The first time was uh, the Manzano Mountains, now the Hamas. And if you have ever encountered a family of bears around you, it is a very, very unnerving feeling. It's, it's outright creepy. You know, I, I have a gun with me and it still, you know, gave me the spooks enough to go ahead and just bag it. Should have put on a windbreaker. Whew, a little cold.
right guys I just made it back to the truck so I'm gonna go ahead and secure things and head on out of here heck yeah Woo! hey what's up guys I made it back to the truck it took me about an hour hour and ten minutes and uh, that was doing about 20 miles an hour on the ATV from uh, the back country where I was so that gives you an idea of just how deep I was it took me about a hour to get out of there so man what a what a eventful night <laughs> when you go out there and you plan these uh adventures especially solo you know you, you never think of this type of uh scenario you always think oh man it's gonna be a enjoyful you know evening and you know, you're just gonna have a little solitude and, you know what what started off as a great evening soon turned into uh one where I was like, should I stay or should I go? And, you know, I decided to might as well go. You know, I wasn't going to sleep anyways. I was going to be on guard the whole night. And here in New Mexico, uh, we're in stage two fire restrictions in the Santa Fe National Forest. So I couldn't even have a campfire to at least uh, enjoy myself around that. I just had this, you know, little battery light and a solar light but uh you know let's be real it wasn't that bright so <laughs> nothing that a campfire could do so yeah packed it up and went home but uh you know guys i uh appreciate you guys always being there and following me and you know supporting my channel but uh i will talk to you guys later heck yeah <laughs> good night guys Woo! midnight i should be home uh, about i'd say two <laughs> heck yeah but at least i get to sleep in my own bed you know and this time i'll you know i guess not this time but i'll definitely get some sleep i'm not gonna be worrying about uh, bears <laughs> all right guys take it easy